LVZ NBA Talk. Like, share, subscribe, peep game. Hey, nice. Stop sending them messages for I'll block your simple ass. And that's all I'm gonna say. You sound dumb as a nigga saying Dennis Rock. That's like saying that the Bulls didn't need Dennis Rock. Oh, they ain't need Kevin Durant. And then you and stop doing that sucker shit. Uh, they won a championship in 2015. Yeah, with no Kyrie Irving and no Kevin Love. Nigga, don't try that white supremacy shit with me. I do not like when niggas do that moist angle. Keep it all in context. You know that championship was considered fluky because nobody was there. Then the next year, they go 73 wins and lose the championship. Motherfucker, they don't keep talking about how Tom Brady and them went undefeated and lost to the Giants. They lost. So stop bringing that shit up. And when they lost, they went to recruit Kevin Durant because they needed to get better. Now, all that Iggy shit and all that old dumb shit you talking, notice how Iggy wasn't even really needed when they got Kevin Durant. And you talking about Clay? Do you know that they drafted Clay first, and the reason they needed Steph? Cause they had Clay. You need to go head on and sit your young ass down. You, and and the other nigga talking about uh, Russell Westbrook is your brother. Man, come on. The fuck out of here. You sound just like Ticket talking about Carmelo, his banana boat, brother. You sound stupid. Now, if we're going to talk facts, 2015, Golden State Warriors, when Kyrie Irving was playing with LeBron, was getting all that they could handle. Then Kyrie hurt his leg, Golden State took advantage. The next year, Golden State sets a regular season record like James Harden set regular season records. But you don't cheer for that, so don't try to cheer for this. It's the same accomplishment. It meant nothing. Because in the big dance, they lost to Kyrie in them. Now, if they thought that they was that close why would you get rid of your team and take on that big of a chunk of a salary? You got to get rid of so many players just to get one. But he was just the one. We didn't need him. We could have kept all these bombs who ain't in the league now. Nigga, go smack yourself. What's been proven is like I said, 2016, no KD, they lose to a full, healthy LeBron James and Kyrie Irving. Then this year, no KD, they still had Clay. They lost to Kawhi in them. Then Clay got hurt, what, like game four? Five? Clay didn't get hurt in game one of the finals. And they lost again. Without Klay Thompson, or with Klay Thompson and Steph, all they are is a very good playoff team. That's it. With Klay Thompson and Steph, they're a very good playoff team. Not a championship team. I said that a million times, and I go to my grave with that. That they would not have won another championship if not for Kevin Durant. Just like... Dwayne Wade wouldn't have had three rings if he didn't have LeBron James coming to that team. Niggas ain't got to like it, but the career kind of says it. So, I don't know what you niggas is smoking. I don't know if it's peyote or whatever it is. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. If you don't like that Kevin Durant went to the Warriors, that's your business. 
Again, you can't sit up there talking about somebody being emotional when you getting emotional over some stupid shit like that. He went to the Warriors. That's where he wanted to go. But they won a championship, not the year that they... But he lost to them. Well, shit, so did the other team. What team was he supposed to go to? The one that you like? Fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like I said, you don't get to make emotional bitch-made arguments over here. Nobody. So if a clown ticket, I'm going to clown you. Get your shit together. It's clear. Anybody with two fucking eyes, you, you can't sit up there in one breath and say, the Warriors wouldn't have won if KD was playing and then say the Warriors didn't need KD. You sound weak. One LBZ. Fuck wrong with these.